So I've got a recipe that's really close to my heart today. It's Mum's Mansell, which is a savoury Vietnamese pancake. I love it. I have it pretty much once a month. It's so delicious and so simple. What I've got here is some rice flour and some cornstarch already mixed together in a bowl. I'm going to add some turmeric to it. I'm going to add some sugar, a little bit of salt, and then coconut milk and a little bit of ice water. So I'm only going to add half the ice water because every kind of rice flour and also cornstarch is a tiny bit different. So you're going to have to see the texture of the batter before deciding if you need more or not. So I'm just going to give this a quick whisk. As you can see, it becomes really golden, kind of yellowy in colour, which is beautiful. And the turmeric is what adds that colour when you're cooking it as well. Oh, I love the smell. It just is like, you've got this coconut that as soon as it touches the turmeric, you get an earthiness. It's just so beautiful. All right. That's looking pretty loose already. So I think a tiny bit more, maybe a quarter cup will do. All right. So you're just going to mix this really, really well. And then I'm going to add some um, spring onion sliced up to it and then set it aside. Beautiful. Yep, it's gorgeous. It's runny. It's the perfect consistency. I'm just going to slice this guy up. So what you want is just little slices of the spring onion. This adds a little bit of colour and also a little bit of flavour to the batter itself. Beautiful. All right. So that's going to go straight into our batter. Give it a nice little mix. And that there. It's all ready to go. Perfect. All right, I'm going to set him aside, get onto our filling now. Our filling is very traditional, very easy as well. We've got some pork belly, thinly sliced. I'm actually going to slice it even thinner now into little pieces. So basically that. This will cook in no time whatsoever, and that's the beauty behind this dish. It's kind of like you cook it into a wok, really fast, two, three minutes, you put the batter in and you've got a meal basically in 10. So pork into a bowl. I've got some prawns here. I'm gonna just slice this guy up, probably about the same size. He goes directly into this bowl as well. We're gonna put some onions into there that I've already sliced up. So when this cooks with the prawn and the pork, in the pan, it adds this beautiful kind of softened onion, a little bit of caramelisation to it that's quite beautiful. Um, I've got some fish sauce now. So that adds a little bit of saltiness and that fish flavour, but then you also have to hit it with a tiny bit of salt to do the exact same thing, add a little bit more saltiness. So that goes right in. We've got some white pepper, which is kind of the secret ingredient in this. Like, not a lot of white pepper is used in cooking, but a lot is used in Vietnamese cooking. All right, that's looking great. Let's give him a quick mix. And then what we do now is we set it aside for about half an hour so that all those flavours kind of infuse and get really gorgeous and get really happy with each other. So the meat's been resting for about half an hour to infuse and get all happy with each other. So now the pan's on. I'm going to add a little bit of oil to it. It's pretty hot already, so the filling can go straight in. Give it a quick throw around. We just want it to kind of cook halfway because it's going to continue cooking once the batter goes in. So as you can see, the prawn's starting to change colour. It's getting a little bit orange on the sides, which means that's the kind of indication that you need to add in the batter. Now what you want to do is ladle in a tiny bit of this batter, just probably a ladle full, and then spread it around. So that's been cooking for about five minutes now. In goes the bean sprouts, just for about two minutes. We just want them to soften up a little bit. I've also chopped up some more spring onions, and that's actually gonna go over the top as well. We're gonna put a lid on it, just so that the bean sprouts have some steam happening there. We're just gonna leave that, yeah, for about two minutes. So that's been two minutes. The bean sprouts have softened a little bit. Now all you have to do is kind of flip the pancake in half. And as you can see, it's beautiful and crispy on the bottom, really golden. I've got a little platter here all ready to go. We've got some lettuce on it, some Vietnamese mint, some coriander and some normal mint. That's just going to come straight out of this wok onto here. And then I'm going to do two more.
that's pretty much it. We're serving it with the beautiful herbs and also the nook mum dressing, which you can find the recipe for and the little tip on our website. But basically, that's my mum's bun sale. Give it a try yourself. It is so delicious. And I bet you it's going to be one of your favourites too.